here at the bank Friday morning getting some stuff done before the weekend I'm gonna do some fitness week banking stuff to make sure we're ready to go and uh, today is the day I tell you about fitness week before I can tell you guys about fitness week I have to do a quick workout Giselle why are you so excited today do you want to tell everybody what happened today Fun new camera. I literally had to drag her here. She wanted to stay home and play with the camera. Work out of the day. Who's the winner here? Tisha? Tisha, your score is coming down. All right, at Blended Athletics to meet up with Dave. It's fitness week time. Okay, so why are we doing this? Maybe we should talk about why these kind of clothes are different. Like connected to the local. Okay. Take one. Dave and I are getting ready. Ready? Ready. Okay. <sighs> okay. Question. Yeah. Are you guys recording? Yep. We're actually recording right now. Yeah, we're probably I might. Probably, you guys are fine. What's up guys? Uh, my name is Jason Davis. I'm here with Dave Rayfuse from Blended Athletics. We are here to chat with you about Halifax Fitness Week. Uh, the big thing we want to do with Halifax Fitness Week, our big whys, was we want Halifax to be one of the healthiest cities in Canada. We want to make a healthier Halifax. And uh, we also want to support local. So we're bringing together some great local business owners that have great businesses here in Halifax to uh, partner with us on this event. We're really lucky to have 10 different facilities joining us this year. Um, all community-based facilities that empower people with the knowledge of fitness. Uh, you're no longer a number when you walk into one of these facilities. And uh, each one of these facilities offers something different. So within those groups participating this year, we have Blended Athletics, CrossFit Ironstone, Third Degree Training, Core Essentials, Revolution Fitness, Cyclone Group Fitness, CrossFit Onside, CrossFit Halifax, Strata Health and Fitness, and Kin Moves. Awesome. So the details of Fitness Week, how does it work? You can check out any of these clubs during the week of May 30th to June 4th. Stop by, you can check out their websites. We'll have links to their sites on this website. So you can go check out their website, see when their classes are being offered. Stop in, pay a $5 drop-in fee. You can check out any of their classes. We're going to be giving away prizes during the week, so if you get to three or more facilities during the week, we're going to have some great prizes for you to enter in to a, for a chance to win. And lastly, we're supporting the Boys and Girls Club. This is the third year for Halifax Fitness Week. Each year, we pick a different charity, different nonprofit to support. This year, the Halifax Fitness Week is going to sponsor a program for a full year for the Boys and Girls Club Greater Halifax Club. So there's five clubs involved and uh, we're going to be providing fitness uh, related, health related programs to them for a full year. Uh, you can, if you have any questions or you want to check out more, there's going to be a comment box below. Uh, you can comment and if you have any questions, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. It's going to be a great week guys, don't miss it. Awesome. We took that in one take. Dave, you're a natural in front of the camera, I must say. That blended athletics TV show is going to be pretty good. I'll talk to you later. Sounds good. Sounds Thanks, good. Buddy. All right, quick tour of Blended before I'm leaving. That was a great video by Dave. This is Laura. Jana. Jana. Uh, great job with the sled. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Group fitness. Room one downstairs. And room two. Awesome. Dave, great facility, awesome video. Uh, okay, I'm heading home. I'm almost, might be late for this next conference call, so I'm going to book it home. Katie's kind of brought me up to speed a little bit about what you guys have been working on, but um, why don't you guys tell me, like, I guess, like, what you do, where you're from, what you're kind of looking for, that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, uh, we I wanted to rant about something really quickly, so I figured I'd come down here for a walk and give you a quick Friday night rant. I had a great chat with Dave today. Dave, thank you for the chat. And the girls from BC, we had a Skype call with. Who was the other one? 
There's another time. Oh, Giselle last night. So in all three of these conversations, one thing that came up through all of them was this idea that the market is always right. Now the client is not always right. I don't, I don't believe the saying the client's always right. The client's not always right. Sometimes the client doesn't know what the client needs. But the market is always right. The market will always decide what's right and what's wrong. Giselle was talking about this group that was talking about photographers, like F-A-U-X photographers, the people who think they're photographers but they're not really photographers. And their justification was, if you don't know the settings on your camera and how to use it properly and all this other stuff, then you're not a true photographer. And that's bullshit. The market decides if you're a photographer or not. The market decides if you're a trainer. The market decides if you're a consultant. Everybody and their dog says they're a consultant. I don't get mad at people out there calling themselves a consultant. I don't have any formal business background. I learned all the stuff I know from just doing it. I don't have any formal training in business. So like, who am I to call myself a consultant? If the market wants to pay you to consult, then you're a consultant. It's as simple as that. If the market wants to pay you as a photographer, you're a photographer. It doesn't matter what you think, doesn't matter what I think, doesn't matter what any individual thinks. The greater market, the collective, the group, they will decide. But too many people get caught up in what letters they have behind their name and what certifications they have and where they went to school and who they know and all this other stuff and none of it matters. None of it matters because when you take it to market, the market decides. Bottom line. <sighs> That's my rant. I love it down here.